Hey there, this is another tutorial from me. Uh, last summer, summer 2010, uh, I got to work with a guy named Barry Anderson. Barry's a guy who lives out in, I don't know, one of the flyover states. I want to say Minnesota. I could be totally wrong. And uh, he he's the one who actually connected me with Shane Hurlbut uh, from Hurlbut Visuals. And we worked on Shane's uh, HDSLR boot camp. And it was, we, we had a blast. Uh, Barry and I had a great time. And... Um, uh, he called me up the other day and he says, hey, I want to do this split screen thing, uh, but I'm doing it in Final Cut 7. So uh, what's the best way to do it? I don't want to just cut to a split screen. I know how to do that. I want to kind of slide over. So that's basically what I'm going to do here. I am going to take um, this shot of Shane talking. He's talking about how he digs Red Rock Micro. And then I want to slide in the shot of some of the crew guys um, working on the stuff. Now, um, here, I'll play what we have so far. Red Rock has been incredibly supportive uh, in my efforts. They have, uh, we've designed things together. And okay, so that's just the camera audio and um, I'm not gonna bother um, syncing it, flying in the, uh, the uh, better audio. Now I'm gonna take that audio out because it's unnecessary, this is just a B-roll shot. And what I wanna do is I wanna take um, the shot that I wanna reveal Okay, so I'm going to be on Shane, and then I'm going to slide him over to the right side of the frame, and I'm going to bring in a shot of this camera gear. So what first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and put it up on top. Now, this may not be the most, you know, Sano cool way of doing it, but it's going to work. So watch this. So what I want to do is I want to reveal this camera. Now, I don't use the little tool palette thing over here, but if you hit the letter C you get the crop tool. Now, to see this crosshair and these little dotty dots, you have to have image plus wireframe. And But with the letter C in the crop tool, I can just go and sort of drag this over. Like, I want to reveal the camera, okay, like that. Now, that's a lot easier, by the way, than going in here, going into the crop thing and sliding this. Actually, I'd have to double-click on the one. Uh, I have to go into crop and, you know, that's just, no, I'm just going to drag and drop. So over here and then I'm going to, eventually what I'm going to do is I want to get this framed about like that. Okay. And in reality, what I want to do is I want to get frame, uh, excuse me, frame, Shane framed about like that. So that's the end result. That's where I want to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a second into my time here. And you can do however fast you want. And on the um, the shot that's coming in, which is the top shot, I'm going to make a keyframe of its scale and its center, center meaning position. And I'm going to do the same thing on the lower shot down here with Shane. So I'm going to go tink and tink. Now, we're not changing the scale, so technically I don't have to. I don't have to do that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back one second. And I'm doing that by using the shift and the arrow key. And on the chain layer, I'm going to center this up by hitting zero there and tab. You notice he jumps over. And then I'm going to add a little keyframe. Well, actually, it, it added its own keyframe because I changed it. And then on the upper layer, I want to do basically the same thing. But what I want to do with this one is I want to slide it out. Okay, so this is going to go over and out. Okay, so if I were to play this now, it's not updating well because this is actually H.264 footage that I did not bother um, <laughs> transcoding because I just didn't want to deal with it. So I'm going to mark an endpoint here. I'm going to say go ahead and render this down. So this would be precisely why you want to use Premiere Pro and with your H.264 footage because it plays in real time. But now I can hit play here. Efforts, they have, uh, we've designed things together. And so there's your effect, Barry. I just basically, I had to keyframe both layers. Um, and if you follow that workflow, it'll probably be easiest. Now the other thing you might wanna do, um, this is not the best footage because there's very little definition. When you get out to here, it almost looks like this guy's over his shoulder anyway. But anyway, that's a compositional thing. That's an art thing, not a, a mechanics thing. So there's, uh, there's your effect. Later.